Hi guys and welcome to week 34. Sorry about the bad lighting, it's starting to get dark out so I've got the lights on and it probably looks terrible. But anyway, I am 34 weeks and 4 days today. Time just seems to be absolutely flying by. Boston should be, according to the Baby Center app, he should be around the four and four pounds, four pounds and three quarters, I think it said, and about 18 inches long and the size of a cantaloupe. So um, today I had a midwife appointment which is not the only reason why I'm doing this video so late. It was my son's last day of school for the year today and he finished at 12.30 and I normally do these videos around Ella's nap time and I had to go pick him up and then I had Josh home and then my midwife came around at 1.30 so that's why this video is being done so late. Um, but anyway, so my midwife came around and it was actually quite a productive um, appointment. We talked about my labour because I have she's a different midwife from who I've had previously, and like there wasn't a lot to say about my labour except I just said if um, because with my last two I pretty much did everything on my own. I had water births. Um, obviously with my first labour with my son, she checked for dilation and um, kept checking the baby's heartbeat because it was my first labour so she didn't know how it was going to go and needed to be safe. But with my daughter, she kind of was just like, you know what you're doing, if you feel like you need to push, push, I'm not going to check for dilation, I'm just going to, you know, let you and your body, you know, figure it out on your own. And I'll just stand here and if you need me I will help you and I thought that was awesome I loved you know besides hating the pain I loved being able to kind of just be left to it you know because I obviously I've had no pain relief I'm in a lot of pain you don't want all that you know touchy-feely stuff so it was nice to be left to it so I told my midwife today that you know as long as you know there are no complications, the baby's not breech, or um, you know, if everything's running smoothly, I'd like to be just kind of left to it and let me do it on my own and just have her there for support if I need her. Um, which she, she said was totally fine as long as everything is you know going good, then I can do it myself. So I'm really happy about that. Um, and then she also measured my bundle height, which I don't have on me, but she was not concerned, but she has decided to do um, a growth and presentation scan, um, because up until today's appointment, my bundle height has been measuring right on track. Um, but today it wasn't. It was measuring behind. I don't know how far behind. I forgot. didn't even didn't even ask. But she said that it was measuring behind. Um, so she said normally that would be something to be concerned about. But she said I do feel like I'm carrying really low. So she thinks that he's probably absolutely right on track. I'm just he's dropped. Um, but just to be extra safe, we are going to do. A growth scan and because we're still kind of unsure um, about his exact position she wants to double check on that at the moment we're still pretty certain he's breech but he's sitting funny and she can't you know she can't be a hundred percent sure so we'll check for that as well but because it's Christmas and everybody's having babies at the moment um, I couldn't get an appointment till the 6th of January, so I was a little disappointed because I was like, oh, any excuse to, you know, see my baby again, um, and I was hoping, you know, I'd be able to get one within the next few days, but nope, <laughs> everywhere is fully booked, and pretty much everyone said I wouldn't get an appointment till, you know, the 
that end of that first week of January. So, 6th of Jan, I get to have my growth scan. So, I'm looking forward to seeing him and I've got my fingers crossed that the midwife is right and he's just, you know, he's lying low and that's why I'm measuring behind all of a sudden. But, you know, because he's still moving so much, she's not, um, she's not really worried. She said, you know, it, it would be different. She'd be pushing for a really urgent um, appointment if it was, you know, he was measuring behind as well as the movement they had slowed down a lot. So, yeah. He's still healthy, so nothing to really worry about. Um, other than that, with symptoms, I'm still tired, my hips and my pelvis are a pain in my butt. Sleeping has become almost impossible, I just, I really can't wait to get my sleep back. Um, well, comfortable sleep, obviously my sleep's going to be broken still, but comfortable sleep would be nice. Um, the heat is killing me, I bought a paddling pool for the kids the other day but really it is for me because it's so hot in New Zealand and I was absolutely dying. I must have looked like a mess when I was picking my son up from school all like sweaty and gross. So I've got a paddling pool out the back to cool off in now which is nice. Which the kids love as well so that's a bonus. Um, but yeah my skin's clearing up which is great. My hair has been growing. I have such slow growing hair, but it's finally like getting long, which I'm really happy about. Um, and the last thing would be weight gain. I weighed myself, um, was it three, four days ago, and I have now gained 10 kilos. So I'm not sure quite sure what that is in pounds but I'm guessing that's probably around the 19, 20 pound mark ish. Um, so yeah, that's exciting but <laughs> not really. But my mother has been so kind as in to buy me a gym membership so I've got an orientation on Monday. Obviously I won't be exercising for well, probably until the baby's about six weeks old, but that was so nice of her. Um, she knew that I wanted to lose the weight afterwards, so I don't have to worry about that. It's a 24-hour gym, so I can go late at night when all the kids are in bed and can work all that baby fat off, so I'm really happy about that. But anyway, that is all the updates for this week, and I will show you my belly. So yeah, like I said, um, how the midwife thinks that I'm just carrying really low is like, there's nothing up here, the top of my uterus is right there, so that's why like, even though she's going to check the growth scan, just to double check that, you know, he's, n um, you know, his growing hasn't slowed down, but she's pretty sure I'm just carrying really low there you go 34 weeks and four days and i will be back for my 35 week pregnancy vlog see you guys later bye